Hi guys, my name's Amy. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got two questions for you. The first one is, have you ever been scared or afraid? I think if people are being honest, everyone has been at some point in their life. And the second question is, what makes you feel better when you are scared or afraid? Maybe it's a cuddle with somebody, or maybe it's talking the problem through. I'm a Christian, and I'm not here to tell you what to believe, because that has to be totally up to you, that's your choice. But I wanted to share with you how it affects certain things in my life. So for example, when I'm scared or afraid, I can rely on the fact that I know God is there for me. There are loads of stories in the Bible about this, and I wanted to share some with you. So today we're going to hear our first story about how Jesus was there for people that he cared about, his disciples. But I know this story is much bigger than that, because actually this story can teach us that he can be there for every single one of us. So I hope you really enjoy it. Okay guys, so today's story is taken from Mark chapter 4 verses 35 to 41 uh, and it's called Jesus Calms the Storm. I need your help to tell this story so when I say Jesus I want you to point up disciples, there were 12 of them so do 10 and 2, uh, when I say waves to do this and when I say wind and boat rocking as if we're in the boat. So you need to get into your boat to help me tell the story. Okay. So at the beginning of the story, Jesus and his 12 disciples were really tired. They'd had a really long day. So Jesus suggested that they got into a boat and that they sailed out into the middle of the Sea of Galilee, which was a huge lake. As they got to the middle of the Sea of Galilee, the waves were gentle and Jesus began to fall asleep and the disciples felt at rest and peace. But all of a sudden a huge storm blew up, the waves got really big, the wind blew <laughs> and the poor little boat was rocked from side to side. The disciples were petrified, they were scared for their lives, they thought they were going to drown. So they woke up Jesus and said, Jesus don't you care we're going to die? Jesus simply said, hush, be still and the waves calmed. And the wind stilled and everything was peaceful and calm again. Now I really love this story because I feel like it can teach us a lot for our lives today. You see our lives won't always be perfect. There will be times when we're scared and when we're afraid just as the disciples were in the story and there will be times where we're not sure what to do. But we can take hope and good news from this story that Jesus will always be with us to help us to calm the storm, to help us to get to better times. I want you to imagine that this here is you, okay? And then this represents all of the worries and all of the troubles that we have in our lives, times when we're scared. Look what happens when they're mixed together. Can you see that bubbling and fizzing? That reminds me of how my tummy feels when I'm a bit frightened. But now I want you to imagine that this is Jesus. And what we can do is by allowing Jesus into control of the situation, we can see that he calms it instantly. He can take away any of that worry, the anxiety, the scared feeling that we might have in our tummies and make us feel peaceful and calm again. How awesome is that? Hey guys, so we've got two crafts today that can help you to remember and to retell the story. The first one is this really cool uh, origami boat here made out of just one sheet of A4 paper. It's really tricky to do, so I'll put some instructions below, so hopefully you can follow those. Uh, but you need to start off, as I said, with just one piece of A4 paper. And the first job is to fold it in half from the top to the bottom lengthways and just fold that down. And then you're going to fold it widthways, so sideways as well in half. And then we want these two points to come and meet in the middle. So we're gonna do it like that. And then the same on the other side. Okay, and now we're going to get rid of these flappy bits. So we're gonna fold one up here, and then we're going to fold one up this side. You can see you end up with kind of like a pirate's hat shape then. Uh, now I'm going to pop your thumbs in and give it a gentle pull, only gently, and it will end up as a square shape. And we just neaten it up by tucking in a little bit there and this little bit here. Okay, now 
I'm going to fold up these two bits. We want it back to be in triangular shape. So we're going to fold this bit up to here and this bit up to here. And now again, pop our hands, our thumbs inside and give a gentle pull so it's another square shape. Okay, now moment of truth, we're going to pull this bit out and just push down. Push on both sides. And when you pull it out, you should end up with a paper origami boat. How cool is that? And you could retell the story by drawing a picture of you in the boat, drawing a picture of Jesus in the boat, uh, and that will remind you that he'll be with you whenever you are, wherever you are in life and whatever you are doing, whatever storm you're sailing. And then the other craft we've got today is a bit simpler. So I've just made a boat here using cardboard, and this is a bit of foam, um, but you could use card as well. And this is just stuck onto a lollipop stick. And then we've made a background with a piece of card. Now this seat isn't totally stuck down so that the boat can slide in there and you can slide it along. So you can retell the story about when the weather was fine and the disciples and Jesus were sailing along and everything was great. And then how the storm hit and then how when Jesus said, calm, be still, immediately everything calmed and was settled and peaceful again. So I hope you've enjoyed those. Uh, I'd love to see pictures of what you make. So please send me pictures and put them down online uh, underneath and we'd love to see them. Thank you. Hey guys, so we've got a song that fits in with the theme from the story today. It's called My Lighthouse. It's by the Awesome Rend Collective, so I have no ownership of it at all. My husband is playing it for us today and the actions come from the amazing Pulse Ministries. If you haven't heard of them, go and check them out because they are incredible. So here goes, this song is called My Lighthouse. In my resting, in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea.
enjoyed the crafts and the song today and particularly the story. I love the fact that Jesus protected his friends during that storm and I love the fact that we can rely on that today. You see the God that was bigger than that storm in that story is bigger than any storm that we can ever face in our lives. So whenever you're feeling afraid or scared I hope that you'll think back to this story and find hope and know that God will be with you no matter what you're going through even when things seem really helpless. He loves us and he will never ever leave us on our own. I'd like to end with a prayer, so if you'd like to make it your own, you could join in and say Amen at the end, which just means I agree. So thank you, Lord Jesus, that you made us and that you love us. We thank you so much that you know when we're going through tough times and that you will always be there with us. We pray that you will give us faith to trust in you. Amen. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. It's been so much fun, and I really hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.